Hey fam, uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope that you're breathing and resting today. I wanted to hop on um, on IGTV because um, I thought it would be better, better use of space for stories. I wanna share some resources um, that I think will help grow and equip all of us um, in this time. So just stick with me here for a few minutes. Um, I wanted to share something for the people um, that are of color but are not black. So whether you're Hispanic, Indian, Asian, et cetera. Um, also for my white brothers and sisters, if um, you could listen in to this as well, I think we would all really benefit from, from it. So Alex Hoover, a Hispanic woman, a Venezolana, right? I, am, I identify as Venezuelan because my parents are that. Um, I was born in DC. Um, I, when I talk about Black Lives Matter, I am talking about Black Lives Mattering. Uh, I am talking about the years of oppression for my Black brothers and sisters. I'm talking about the trauma, the pain. I'm talking about the disgusting demonic force of systematic racism that they've had to endure and are healing um, in and from those things and in the midst of it all healing in it um, while still experiencing the oppression um, that is. When I say Black Lives Matter, that's what I'm talking about. And when others say all lives matter or what about my ethnicity? Well, obviously we matter. Right in the body of Christ as people, we matter. But right now we're specifically talking about the systematic racism, the grossness, the sin that has been um, that, that has been done to our brothers and our sisters um, of the African American culture here in the United States of America. That's what I mean when I say Black Lives Matter. I will never truly understand and neither will you what it means to be a black person in America because we are not black. My hair and the color of my skin give me privilege in and of themselves. Even being a Hispanic woman, I will never truly understand but I can empathize and I can walk with them because they are my family and like they are your family, we have a responsibility to do that. Um, if you are a believer, it's the gospel. Reconciliation to each other is what Christ died for. Reconciliation to him and then to each other. That's the great commission, great commandment. Uh, my church says upward and outward, love God, love ourselves, and then love our neighbors uh, correctly and compassionately. I will never truly understand the years of trauma, but I can walk with my brothers and sisters and use my words, which I pray lead us all to action because at this point, words are great, but if we're not changing the influence um, that we run in, the circle we run in, if we're not impacting the narrative in our homes, if we're not speaking truth into the narratives around us, if we're not using our lives to change what's happening and what has been, then our words will not be enough. So, hear my heart when I say that at this point we have to take a step back and look at the reality of what this is for our black brothers and sisters whether you are Hispanic or white whatever it may be and we have to be allies to them and we have to fight with them the sin and the darkness that this is. This is trending right now for all of us because it's social media has made it available for us to see videos of beautiful black souls murdered, of which a lot of my black brothers and sisters are not watching because it's modern day lynching, but it's now available for thousands and millions of people to watch and to see. So because of that, that's trending, but for black people, this is an everyday trend this is not a movement for them. This is not something that um, is, is a trend. This is their lives. And so I just pray that we take that uh, for what it is and that we can move into action as brothers and as sisters and bring about change.